everybody it's rose and ryan um today we're going to be uh giving you all five unpopular opinions that we actually agree with um so yeah let's get started i hate it when people say quote unquote he's still your dad or she's still your aunt just because someone is your family does not mean you have to keep them in your life if they're toxic or abusive blood means nothing sometimes don't let people guilt you into being associated with them okay and, and i mean i I think we definitely agree with this because i mean just like i said just because someone is your family or close to you it doesn't mean that you have to keep them in your life if they're not treating you correctly right um i think that there are like some people do deal with that i i personally have dealt with that with yeah. extended family um i think if if they can't respect you as a person as a human being it's no point in them in your life yeah and they're just like friends if you you can choose your friends. I know you can't necessarily choose your family, but you can choose to who's in your life. I mean, you're a human being. So if they're not treating you right, then you know you don't you don't have to associate yourself with them. Right. Okay. The next unpopular opinion is the attitude of that's just how I am. Take it or leave it. It's still a sign of immaturity. As an adult, it's your responsibility to figure out which of your traits are toxic and are negative, impactful towards other people and the ones you love, and to eventually learn how to fix them. At some point, we all got to start making ourselves better individuals. If you truly believe you don't have to change anything about yourself, even at the very least the worst in you, and the people will just have to deal with it, then sorry, you're still a child. Um, I would personally say that I, I definitely agree with this. Um, I think that I, a matter of fact, I grew up where like everybody had an attitude. Like there was just the thing. Everybody had sass or attitude. Um, and sass is definitely different from an attitude, so to say. I think that people also get confused between those two as well. Walking around having an attitude, it's like, it's not, it's really not even cool. It's like, um, you basically are throwing negativity towards people and expecting them to just accept it and be okay with that. Um, and I think that's not, that's not okay. Yeah. I mean, there could be a lot of things like not just like add to, but I mean, just certain different traits that, you know, it's like, for example, Oh, I'm like, someone says you're lazy. And it's like, well, that's just how I am. Like, you know, like, yeah. Like trying to make know, it like, just, Oh yeah, that's just my personality. So deal yeah. with it. You know, it's like you can always, you can fix that. Like, there's things about yourself you may not be able to fix, but because that's just how yeah. you, you know, but you might be predisposed to something. Yeah. But I mean, like laziness, like you can always fix that. <laughs> like, right. like, but you know? like an attitude, I would say if you notice that people are always saying you have an attitude, or why you have an attitude, I think that's something that you should individually decide for yourself that you, you should work on yeah. um, and try to improve. Because I mean, life is all about growing. Like there's no point in being stuck in your ways at whatever age you are. Mm -hmm. Especially like, I feel like the majority of people with that attitude are usually like young adults. Um, so yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, the third unpopular opinion is this generation doesn't know how to have healthy relationships. People don't know how to be alone, so they're looking for a cure for loneliness instead of an actual loving relationship. Well, yeah, I we obviously agree with this one. It's I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Uh a lot of people in our generation, I mean, in our generation. In our generation. They I feel like they need to have somebody in their life to make them feel happy instead of looking inwards and finding happiness within themselves before going out and finding someone. Mm -hmm. So therefore their standards are super low. They don't really, you know, like they, they take things that they might not have if they actually had, you know, actually fully respected themselves and loved themselves first. Yeah. So I, I feel like, you know, it's almost out of boredom that, they yeah. kind of get in relationships like oh, i'm lonely let me just get in a relationship you know and then yeah. they end up maybe in like a toxic relationship exactly you know they but they don't want to get out of it because they'll be lonely again exactly. so yeah you know? all right the next unpopular opinion is i think social media has absolutely destroyed our generation's ability to be truly happy we're always seeing someone else who we think has it better than us and it causes us to think that what we have isn't good enough. 
Um, I agree with this one as well. I think that social media has its pros and cons. Social media pros is obviously being able to reach more audiences, um, things like that. But then the cons, this is one of the cons. This is one of the things that like, it's like our entire generation is stuck on their cell phones like all the time, like stuck on social media all the time. That's like everything for our, our generation, I feel like. Um, I also noticed that people are getting where like even their kids are stuck on the phones now like mm -hmm. there's children like little babies that literally don't run around and have fun they sit and they play with a tablet or iphone and that's all they do all day i think that technology in it in, in itself not just social media is a problem um social media i would say the main problem is like um looking for validation from like random other people uh, so to say like likes like trying to get likes and doing like the craziest things that you would normally never ever do just things that aren't even okay for likes pretty much um things that probably go against your moral code but you'll do it for the ground though <laughs> so like yeah i think in that way it's definitely changed us um as people and it's also made you want to have some like want to have more than whatever you have so wherever you are at in life you see somebody on instagram for example and feel like oh my god they have this i wish i had that and, and it's like all of those people are just showing you the best of themselves like the best things that they have they're not going to show you like everything else they're not going to show you anything other than what they think is the best and that's all you see like through your whole social media like all your timelines pretty much so you see like all these pretty much like a, let's say for instance somebody that likes showing off like money and foreign cars because there's a lot of uh, accounts like that and you constantly see that all day and all you think about is oh I don't have that car oh I don't have that much money and it's and you all you almost start putting yourself down um for something that's probably not even true like I personally know somebody at my uh, previous job that was literally like he takes pictures with his friends cars and like he hangs out with um, a lot of rich people we were in the car business so it's easy to find those people around you and like he uses that to flunt on the ground to make it look like he is the richest wealthiest 20 year old kid out there yeah. so like it a lot of times uh, some most of that stuff be lies but like it's like we just consume it these days so yeah, yeah. I mean, people like rent cars. Like they'll say, "Oh, I got a Lamborghini," but they really rented it. And then they take and pictures on it. And take blah, pictures blah, blah. and like, yeah, it. People don't have it as good as, as you think they do sometimes, you know. Yeah. And I, that can be with money. That can be like body, you know, mm -hmm. body wise. If they have a picture, that thing's fully photoshopped. You know what I mean? And people photoshopped have, and like nowadays, they like, it's not just Photoshop. It's like people are um saving and people that instead of saving up to invest or maybe buy an asset they're saving up to buy like a body <laughs> like those are the things that, <laughs> those honest. are the things that like are on social media that is what yeah. you consume on a daily mm -hmm. basis what you see like the average instagram model body is like a fake body not necessarily something that's natural like it's just a lot that goes into that that i think is negative on our society yeah Okay, the last unpopular opinion is people lack simple in-person conversation skills and blame it on awkwardness slash anxiety when in reality they haven't been socialized to speak to others without a technological device. This is 100% true because, I mean, a lot of people that... Like, I, I feel like before all social media and all this technology... You know, if you had, if you wanted something, you had to actually, you know, talk to people, you know, to acquire things or, uh, or to, to meet or relationships. Meet, yeah, build new, mm -hmm. yeah, build new relationships, meet people, network. You, you couldn't just go on Instagram or something and be like, DM them and be like, hey, you know, whatever. Right. You know, but like now that's, you know, the main thing people do. Mm -hmm. and, and you can really see it. A lot of people that you meet, they, they really lack in-person skills and it's really yeah. because they're, they're too shy to have like an actual conversation with someone off you know that's not on a technological device yeah so yeah i mean yeah i feel like it might get worse like as time I goes on <laughs> i think it also goes hand in hand with what i was saying earlier about how we nowadays we see like the kids like the little kids that are like lost in their cell phones they're like five years old with a cell phone and yeah. i feel like that's also like i think it's only gonna get worse honestly i don't think that there's 
I don't think that we're going to be able to better that because we're forever trying to push technology forward, which is a good thing technology wise. Mm -hmm. um, but for our actual like generational like happiness, our society, um, all of us as people, I think it's bad on us mm -hmm. um, at, with connecting with each other and things like that. I think that it it's actually killing our social skills. Yeah, I mean, so, and you see like, I don't know, like people like they're like in relationships or you know they just be on their phone yeah like, they're like, both like this like dude, dude even like, like what are you care doing? about each other? Like, <laughs> like, like i understand there's there's times where you know should be on like pinterest or something yeah, on, like, I mean, on youtube it's like it, it, yeah of but course. that's at home that's we at got home. like nothing to do we watching tv or yeah. we don't feel like watching tv so we do that and it, and we never do that all day it's never no. like let's do this for the majority we do that for probably an hour or two and then we get up and do whatever yeah if that yeah and like yeah, but yeah, I was referring to people like on a date, you know, like you're out having dinner and they're like, on their you know, like that's like look. the ugliest thing to me. Like if you're, you're having a date and it, and the worst thing is a lot of times it'd be one sided. It's like that one person. Yeah. Like, one person on their phone. The other person's just like, <laughs> like looking around. It's just like so awkward and yeah. uncomfortable looking. It's weird. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Um, so yeah, here is a bonus question that we have for you all, kind of like an unpopular opinion as well for us. Um, but we're gonna ask you the question and see what y'all think. Y'all drop us uh comments in this comment section, obviously, and let us know. Um, yeah. so the question is pineapple on pizza is absolutely delicious. Do you agree, yes or no? Let us know in the comment section. Personally, I think that pineapple on pizza is freaking wonderful. I love it. <laughs> I love it. You ever had a Hawaiian pizza? It's like ham and pineapples pretty much. It's, I love it. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's good. I mean, I don't I don't really know why people like don't like it, but I don't know. But it, it's one of those things that people just like collectively, I feel like they've heard other people say it and then they're like, they probably haven't even tried it and they're like, oh yeah, pineapple on pizza, you know? Yeah, but then you put people, all kinds of other stuff on pizza. So some like, people hate the idea because it's like I guess because it's a fruit with yeah. like meat or whatever. But it's like it's that's like the same to me as like ham with pineapple. Like you know yeah. when you go to Thanksgiving and there's pineapple on the ham. Yeah. Unless you never had that, but I'm telling you, it's good. It's 100 percent great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty much the same thing to me. It's good. Yeah. All right. Um. But thank you all for watching as always. Um, let us know what are some of you all's unpopular opinions. Um, what do you believe that you think that ma the vast majority of people don't agree with? <laughs> let us know in the comment section. Keep up with us by following us on Instagram at Amore Gains. And as always, like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe for good vibes.